Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. The Monday before Thanksgiving. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. And you know what happens after Thanksgiving. We just roll through the holidays, right? And all of a sudden, it's 2023. And um, oh my goodness, it's going to be fast. I hope everybody is well and having a good Monday. I'm going to get myself in order here. I've got an amazing... Um, literally a box of incredible stuff that was given to me and I'm gonna tell you how that all happened because I'm like over the moon all right let me get my link out to my text people and I sent that all right so um before I show you this stuff which I have to tell you is incredible for you, those of you that like vintage and like goodies like that. I'm actually going to close my computer so I don't have any distractions. I want to go over quickly the ornaments that I made or we made, hopefully you made some of them, and let you know that if you go to my YouTube channel, Surface Anthology, on YouTube, you could see tutorials for them. So here's one, right? Our little woodland ornament. We have this very kind of Swedish looking um, clothespin star, kind of Gustavian, love it, right? We had this really natural um, little wood slice ornament with the vintage mother of pearl buttons and all that beautiful, um, uh, German glass glitter, and that's the real deal, which is back in the shop, by the way. The silver German glass glitter is back in there. Of course, the iron orchid, right, with a beautiful inlay, that bright color, and more sparkly snow German glass glitter. And the very first one we made, which I just love, is this little um, iron orchid mold and those... Um, what are those called? Jenga. Little miniature Jenga game, right? And that kind of goes, hey, Barb, good morning. Oh, no, Barb. Barb is a member of the Surface Anthology membership, and you just figured out, oh, I've got a cat hair in my mouth, how to get to the monthly lessons. I am so glad. And next time, Barb, reach out to me um, and anybody else, because we've got some new members, We've got some members that haven't joined the Facebook group, and I keep sending out emails, but make sure you reach out to me. Maybe you'll message me on Facebook. Let me know you're having trouble. Um, you can email me, J-A-Y-N-E at surfaceanthology.com, because I want you in there. And the group is so much fun. We have a really great group of ladies, very creative ladies that are a blast. Good morning, Danielle. How are you doing? Yay! Hey, Janine! Good morning, you guys. Well, are you ready to see this incredible um, haul? I use the word haul because everybody's using the word haul. Hashtag haul, right? But um, I, when I used to ship paint, right? I used to be an importer. Ugh. An importer. Hey, Amanda! An importer and distributor of uh, a Dutch paint line. We used to bring, you know, loads down to this mail place, one of those mail places that has UPS pickup, all of that. And um, oh, everybody, I love it. Everybody knows each other in the in the um, chat. And everybody, make sure. By the way, I put a link in there. You join the giveaway. You enter the giveaway. You could you could enter every day. There's one part of it I set up that every day you could get another entry in. And share, oh, and sprinkle, sprinkle, scatter everywhere, right? But when getting back to my story, when I went to this mail place, usually it was wreck, and my husband, and sometimes I was helped, because we were shipping some of these boxes were 50, 75 pounds each, and there would be 20 of them, right? We got to know a lady named Wendy there, who is this really sweet woman like my age, and, you know, you get to know them going in, hey, how are you doing? Well, 
time passed, you know, we had a pandemic. Wendy retired. I no longer am importing and distributing. But she reached out to me via email probably three weeks ago. And it took me that long because I went through my strep and all of that. Hey, Emma, good morning. 39 in San Antonio. That's cold. I saw a funny, a funny video of a, of a guy zipping up like 25 zippers, right? When it's 39 in, uh, in Texas. You guys aren't used to that. But Wendy emailed me and she said, hey, Jane, I have all these like wooden boxes. I think they're cheese boxes. She wasn't sure. Would you like them? And I'm like, yes, I would. And then I got sick and blah, blah, blah. But finally yesterday, I reached out and I said, I'm not contagious. You're not going to get strep from me. Can I come and get these boxes if you still have them? She said, sure. And we ended up meeting. I live by the Connecticut River. So we ended up meeting in a park because she was passing through. And I live in, in the, you know, she was passing through my town. And she drives up and you got, and I'm going to start showing you what she gave me. Barb, you ha you're having trouble with audio? Is anybody else having trouble with audio? Mmm, let us know. Hey, Deborah, good morning. Good to see you. So let me just start by showing you the boxes. Here's the first box. Now this is, this is an old box and it has, if you can see, nutmeg, right? Scratched in the top there. And you know, Connecticut is the nutmeg state. And I wonder if anybody knows why we're called the nutmeg state. Oh, good. Danielle is having good audio. All right. Barb, check your... You know what you could do? Refresh the page. So this is this really sweet little box. This is a real band box, right? You see that? How that is there. And right here. Now you should look up the history of these band boxes. These are made, <clears throat> oh, made by the Shakers. I was working with some sanding stuff this morning. Man, I'm making a mess. Um, so that, I'm looking at the, I'm making sure everybody could hear me. So this is an old band box. I brought out a new band box that I bought. This was up in, um, I think it was in New York or New Hampshire. We went to a big shaker village where they had the round barn. But this is what a, a band box looks like new, right? And... Look at that. There you go. I'm desperate to take. They have workshops up there to learn how to make them. Oh, and I'm getting a spam call. You didn't know. So Danielle is saying she didn't know Connecticut was the nutmeg state. You know why, Danielle? And you know why it's not called the nutmeg state anymore? Because the Connecticut um, merchants, right, were selling wooden balls and telling people that they were nutmeg and they weren't. So they were ripping people off. <laughs> so that's why, and I, I actually had to learn about that in art school, because one of my first assignments when I was a freshman was, you know, we had to do an illustration of something about our state. I'm like, oh, we're the nutmeg state. And the instructor asked me, why are you the nutmeg state? And I didn't know, so I had to look it up. Nutmeg is delicious. Oh my, God. nutmeg smells like fall. Deborah, you have to, you have got to check it out. It's, I'm, I am somebody who cooks with tons. My friend Tammy of Flipping Furniture would die, but I love really spicy food. I love using lots of, I'm, I love to cook Indian food and of course Italian, that kind of thing. And I load up spices and nutmeg is delicious. And a lot of Italians will put a little nutmeg in their sauce. So here's another box that she gave me. So these are old boxes, right? Look at this, beautiful. Now I have to tell you, I saw these, look at how beautiful. This is a really elegant, really simple one. Um, Wendy was like, oh Jane, you know, you gotta paint them, you can do something really beautiful. I don't know that I'm gonna paint these band boxes. I think it goes like this. I th I'm pretty sure this one is cherry also. So here's like new cherry that's got a finish on it. And here's old cherry um, because these are just so beautiful. And I think I really just think I want to stack them 
these in like my kitchen or something because they're just beautiful. So I'm going to keep going. Now this box, this is a really old one. This is not like the others. And Wendy thought that this might be a cheese box. Look at this box. Isn't it fabulous? But it is just as charming. I just love it. And it's got those little tacks going around. And I love it. I'm not sure what wood this is. <coughs> now I'm going to start coughing. Oh, you're talking about the box. <laughs> Let me, I don't know if I could smell anything. I'm still congested, Deborah. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like nutmeg, but it smells like a like a um, wood. Like when you open up an antique, you get that wonderful smell of wood, not must. So maybe they just had the the not the um, unshaved or what do we do? Gr ungraded. Now look at this one. I'm just loving these natural finishes. Right, this one is just incredible. And look at that, just beautiful. So needless to say, this was the most incredible gift. And my birthday is at the beginning of December and I'm like, I'm like, Wendy, this is like an early birthday gift. I'm a degree home economist. I, I better know what nutmeg smells like. Absolutely, right? Yes, and you use only fresh nutmeg, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And it's delicious, right, Deborah? It just adds a special something. We put it on our eggnog, all of that. Here's another one. And I think this is a cheese box. Look at that patina. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And it's got all the crazing, right? Oh. That's what we want our furniture to do. And you don't get that when you use polys. You might get some chipping and stuff, but you're not going to get that beautiful kind of crazing. Here's another one, right? Beautiful. I have to ask my husband what wood this is. Right? That had something in it. But just wait. So these are all the boxes. Now we move on to something else and my eyes went, my eyes just got huge when I saw these. So first of all, I'm looking at these tins, right? This is an old beech nut coffee tin. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, is she including this, right? They're all in it. I just couldn't believe it, right? It was my lucky day. And then she takes it out. She goes, yeah. And it's filled. These are filled with the buttons right? Buttons, buttons, buttons. But wait till you see these other buttons. Look at this one. Isn't that fabulous? I love this kind of teal with this orange red color. And I used to live right next to the Maxwell House factory in Hoboken, in probably 1983 when I was in school. I don't even know how many I got, Deborah. There's like, well, there's two, four, six boxes, but I'm not done. You have to see. Look, this is where they put all the black buttons, right? I mean, there's some really, really cool, cool buttons in here because people didn't throw anything away. So it's like treasures. And then look at this tin. Is this amazing? Scotch brand cellophane tape. So this is before um, they put it on plastic. And I um, used to use real cellophane bags. They're hard to find in my shop. But isn't that amazing? And look what it says. Made in the USA by the Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company in St. Paul. I just love this, right? I don't know what year this is, but I have to look all this stuff up. But then look, these are all mother of pearl buttons. 
right? All strung, some real, real beautiful ones in here. And they separated these white buttons in this little bag, right? It's just unbelievable. So there's that. It's not over yet. I did. I hit the jackpot, Danielle. I really did. And honestly, these tins, I have to just, I'm going to just wipe down really carefully and display because they're so beautiful. Then she brings this out. Look at the size of these. These are mother of pearl buttons, right? Look at it. They're like, I could throw the size of the palm of my hand. Aren't those absolutely exquisite? It is, right, Barb? It is. Barb is saying it's fun and special. Absolutely. Janine said she was probably so happy to find a person who would appreciate all this great stuff. I bet she was. I, I, I think she said that. because I am. Amanda, I'm in button heaven. <laughs> and I'm thinking what I want to do um, is string these along somehow to make garlands because they're just so incredible. Like these are just so beautiful. I don't know yet, but these are all just, these are real. These are not plastic mother of pearl buttons. And look at these and look at how they just, oh, look at that shape. How they just strung them up to organize them. I love that. And then more. <laughs> oh, in here, there are these little sparkly ones, metal ones with um, just stones, more mother of pearl, real wood, dark mother of pearl, right? It's just incredible. These are glass. These are glass. I mean, it's just incredible. These are pounds. <laughs> and we were both out there, you guys, in the wind, in the wind blowing, both of us freezing yesterday. And I was just like, oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> More mother of pearl. How beautiful. And all strong. And this gave me the idea, the way they're strong, of trying to figure out how to make some kind of ornament but I want to be able to see these buttons, you know, see the face of the buttons. And that's what made me think of making a garland. But I just love these. Look at the old clips, right? Oh my goodness. And you know, as I get into, these are the little baby buttons. As I get into this, oh, here's glass. I love glass, the crystal. Um, as I get into this, I'm going to find little treasures, I'm sure, and I'll take pictures and post it. But I just had to show you my, my haul, right, of the most amazing uh, gift from Wendy. And Wendy, if you're watching, thank you so much. Look at these. These are real wood. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you so much. This is just an absolute treat for me. Flowers, right? And I'm I'm be, I'm over right. Deborah's gasping. I know I was. I was like, Ugh, I can't believe this. And Danielle's saying I have seen buttons used for small to large to make pine tree ornaments. Ooh, beautiful, Danielle. Hey, Shannon. Good morning. I know it's early there. Um, yes, these are. Janine is asking were these items that she collected or from her family? They're from her family. So this is, and I didn't take that lightly because I know, you know, when you're going through your um, family's things, it's really hard to, to get rid of it. I mean, I can't. I have a really, uh-oh, Hot Girls is back. <laughs> we're being, we're being um, hijacked again. Oh my goodness. Well, we are a bunch of hot girls, right, ladies? We're fabulous. But I was so excited about this. And um, I'm just over the moon. This is definitely, this is an early 
what is that called? Bakelite or Bakelite, whatever they called it. But I just, you know, I just know. It's hard for me not to look through it now. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to thank, it is Barb. It's so special. I just love it. I'm just crazy about all of this and these boxes, which are just exquisite. So let me make sure. There's a sale going on in my shop. And even for you members, it is more than what the membership um, discount is. So that's, it's going on to the 29th. I've got glitter in, all kinds of stuff. So head over to chalkmercantile.com to shop. Enter the raffle. You're going to get one of my um, Merry Maker bundles on steroids. It's going to be probably twice as much as what is in one of those bundles. So make sure you enter it, scatter it about, because it's, it's, it's going to be fabulous. Um, and I showed you the ornaments I made because people asked about this. Where are the videos? You know, where are they? Go to Surface Anthology on YouTube and they're all there. And um, this is it, you guys. We're looking at Thursday is Thanksgiving. And then it's just a big, you know, a big blur, right? To Christmas and the New Year's. And then we can all breathe back when it's 2023. So thank you for joining me today in looking at this just incredible um, gift that I received. I'm just over the moon, and I'm going to actually put this all on my dining room table. My husband's in Hartford today, and I'm going to go through it and really um, figure out, you know, how you're supposed to clean this. I always do that. That's a hint. When you get something that's old, look up, you know, how do you clean it so you don't scratch? Because these tins are in really nice shape but I want to probably just dust them. And uh, and that's it. And I am going to be back either tomorrow or Wednesday. And remember, Surface Anthology members, Wednesday is going to be our live uh, tutorial day in the Facebook group, and I'll send out an email about that and a message. So, because Thursday is Thanksgiving. Oh, you're so welcome, Danielle. Barb, Shannon, Deborah, um, Deborah, what are your favorite recipes? You taught a home ec, right? Yeah, I'd love to know. I'm actually going to be using really quickly. I'm going to be using um, Ina Garten's way to pre-make uh, gravy. It's sort of make. It's it's you make this. Um, roux beforehand and then day of right after the turkey comes out because I all I'm that last one I'm, I'm like 20 minutes stirring and all of that um, but you can add her this thing you make to the pan drippings with some wine and you've got gravy and it doesn't take all that time so I'm gonna try that I'll let you all know how it goes Emma you are so welcome thank you so much for joining me Deborah, absolutely. Everybody have a wonderful and creative Monday. Don't forget to enter the raffle, okay? Because who doesn't want a bunch of, of stuff you could add to your right ever-growing stash? Take care, everybody. And